Hi, my name is Pauline Kerry. I'm one of the lead ANPs at the Greater Glasgow and Clyde Flow Navigation Centre. Near me has had a significant impact on our service um, and we would say that that is the gold standard of consultation in terms of how we operate the service. It is certainly the preferred option over the telephone call um, and it really makes the difference, particularly if there is a uh, you're swithering over a patient who could potentially be left at home, but just having that added benefit of being able to put your eyes on them, um, which is just a wee bit in a, in a step towards um, that bedside clinical approach. Um, so you're still virtual, but you're able to just put eyes on them, see what, are they pale? Are they breathless? Are they wincing when they, they're talking to you? Those things that you just cannot pick up on in a telephone call. So what happens just now for the patient is they've phoned NHS 24 and NHS 24 have referred them on to the Greater Glasgow and Clyde Flow Navigation Centre and the first place that their referral um, comes to is into our admin hub. So a member of admin staff will pick up that referral and phone the patient and they phone just to kind of fix an appointment time for the patient and at that point they also will ask about video or a telephone call but we are um, not pushing or pressurising um, or enforcing a video call but we are favouring the video consultation over the telephone consultation. So the admin person will um, find out the preference um, and that will be indicated to us on the track care screen, whether we are joining the patient on a video consultation or whether we are having a telephone consultation with them. Now, it's fair to say that um, it's a bit of a 50-50 mix, but we've recently changed the scripting that the admin hub use. And now it is a case of them saying to the patient, we're going to send you a video link. And, and unless the patient says, my technology doesn't support a video or I don't feel comfortable doing a video consultation, then majority of patients get a video consultation. But even if we do get a patient that is referred for a telephone consultation, once we've started the consultation on the telephone, we have the ability to convert that telephone call into a video call. Once we've started the conversation with the patient, they've we've, they've got a wee bit of trust and we, f we can often hold their hand during the joining up process. So as they follow the link that um, brings them into the video cons consultation. So um, we have our accident emergency themed patients um, that this type of technology is really good in. But even in the, you know, the minor injury musculoskeletal type patients, it's it's fantastic. So in terms of I saw a patient, so in terms of the kind of accident emergency themed patients, I saw a patient a couple of weeks ago, a young guy, a student who lived from Aberdeen, who lives in Glasgow, who phoned in with um abdominal bloating and from all the history that I did on the phone call my diagnosis was sitting with constipation. Um, I wanted to be able to have a look at this boy just to see how's this guy presenting when I physically see him face to face and there was other things that I could do in terms of an examination virtually that couldn't occur on the phone so when I managed to convert it to video co consultation I got him to do things like walk up and down the stairs with me holding his phone so that what I was trying to ascertain was that the, he had no peritoneal irritation that he could walk up and down the stairs that he could lift his knees up to his chest without wincing without any evidence of pain or discomfort so that was that was extremely helpful 